John Popovich here again uh, in front of the living wall, uh, extending our Legends videos. We welcome uh, Dr. Stefan Mayer, who's the chair of the Department of Neurology. I wonder if you could uh, talk about uh, the legacy of uh, people like uh, Mike Welch and Barb Tillis in, in terms of the stroke care and the approaches that they took uh, several decades ago. In the early 90s, Henry Ford was a pioneer in the treatment of stroke. And at that point in time, treating a stroke was a brand new concept, right? It was largely just supportive care that we were doing, but it was those thrombolytic drugs, the clot-busting drugs, TPA, uh, that were tested by the NIH. And what people may not know was that Henry Ford was the National Coordinating Center under the leadership of Mike Welch, who I personally view as uh, uh, an icon and, and somebody who I really uh, emulate. It was an incredible um, uh, event, uh, not only in the history of uh, Henry Ford uh, Hospital, but really in terms of uh, the general treatment of stroke care. But it, for Henry Ford, it developed a whole series of ways mm -hmm. in which we managed patients with stroke from the emergency department on with the, with the various services. Can you talk about a little bit about how we approach stroke care Stroke is similar to a gunshot wound um, or cardiac arrest. It is unbelievably time sensitive. Our treatments are directed towards reopening the vessel. And the big thing now that just came out about two years ago are the endovascular techniques. We call it mechanical thrombectomy. But literally every minute you can reduce in getting that vessel open can lead to, it's estimated a week, of disability-free survival. So stroke care, which involves neurology and interventional radiology, radiology, all kinds of converges on the emergency department. So that partnership with emergency medicine is absolutely crucial. That's why we're so lucky, because the bonds between emergency medicine and neurology here at Ford have been in place for a long time. Um, something new, uh, though, uh, is occurring as well because your window of opportunity of treatment is a little bit more extended at this time. Is that correct? Yes. The truth is, earlier is always better. But what we've come to learn with a very recent trial called the Dawn Trial is that a lot of these guys that wake up with a stroke, we call them wake-up strokes, one out of five strokes, we previously were powerless to treat them because we didn't really know when the stroke occurred while they're sleeping and all our evidence pointed to a maximum window of six hours. We can use imaging now, CT perfusion imaging, along with the CT angiography that's now standard of care here at Henry Ford, and we can see the stunned brain that's still not dead yet and select those patients to go for intervention and thrombectomy, and we're literally seeing amazing results. What's in the future? Uh, I'm personally on a mission to get us a mobile stroke unit. We're gonna need some philanthropy to help with that, but we've already got a pledge, so we're halfway there. Mobile stroke units are CT scans on wheels. There are currently 14 medical centers in the U.S. that have a mobile stroke unit. And I think, frankly, John, Detroit is perfect, perfect for, for, for this kind of advance. I want to thank you and uh, thank uh, your department uh, for continuing to really uh, lead the effort in this very important uh, area of uh, clinical care. Thank you, Stefan. Thanks a lot, John.